Okay, so I'm making two videos today, and this second video is about my BFC Club doll. And uh, she was obtained on March the 16th, which was a Friday. I bought her for a dollar. And she came completely nude. No, she had a, a, a shirt on. And uh, she was dirty, her hair was really tangled, but she was a dollar. So I was like, well, I'm going to see if I can salvage her hair. If not, I'll just, you know, give her new hair. And, um, so anyways, it was next day on Saturday. I bought this outfit at the flea market, which is the uh, an original BFC Club outfit. And it came new in box, and it was $3.50. And uh, it came with the sweater, which is really pretty, like a little sweater cardigan, um, a tank top that's lace, and uh, like a three-tier skirt, which has a very nice print, and has like stitched on underwear on the, the skirt, and um, some tennis shoes, and it also came with some iron on. Um, like stickers to iron on her clothes but I didn't use any on it and then it also came with a purse which I've misplaced at the moment but anyway it's um I, I looked at her um, pictures online to figure out you know which doll this was and I found out that she is uh, called Caitlin and I redid her hair the way that she has it in all the pictures and how she comes out in the box when sold in the store. And I just added this other detail. I put like um, braids in front of her face. I liked it better than having her have two loose uh, strands of hair. And... Um, I gave her this pin. I, I had it. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I've been collecting very miniature pins, and so the dolls that don't have earrings or I, I don't pierce their ears, I put them small pins that go with their clothing, which I hadn't seen anyone done. But yeah, I've been collecting small pins, and they they look really nice on their clothes. It makes them look more realistic, I guess. Um, so basically, her hair is layered, and uh, it's rooted, and uh, I've brushed her hair a lot of times, and uh, as I mentioned in my Madame Alexander video, that, um, that it's hard to find rooted dolls that have good hair, that is rooted, you know, to last for a long time, and well, um, she has really nice hair. It doesn't fall off like my Madame Alexander doll that I showed previously. And um, it's really nice. All I did was uh, give her like a downy dunk. I only did it once and it came out a lot softer. And her curls, like they were very loose. And they just kind of sprang up. And now she has like more curls than before. So, um, she's really nice. And I do recommend it, I mean, considering the price. Um, so I don't know if I'll collect another one anytime soon, but I'm really glad I bought her. So, like, all together, th the doll with the outfit, she came out to $4.50. I don't know how much she is in the store. I think... She's over 20, so I'm glad. I don't know, it was just a very lucky find to find these, her outfit and her in two separate places. So, um, as a rooted hair doll, she's, uh, she has very good quality hair in my opinion. Just as long as you maintain it and soften it whenever you can with, by doing a downy dunk, I think, uh, she will be very easy to manage. All I need to do is give her some jewelry, some accessories. So, 
So that's Caitlin. And I did my best to try to restore her hair like before. Like I said, it was it was very tangled, but um, I managed to take out the tangles, and her hair really came out great, in my opinion. So this is a good buy for a rooted hair doll. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, like. Bye.